What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. Got some very quick but surprising duels for you guys to check out. Can a reptile deck, more specifically an alien build, find a win in 2020? Conventional wisdom and basically knowing anything about the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game would tell you absolutely not, even if it is against one of the worst decks you could possibly imagine. Put them up against whatever you think the worst deck in Yu-Gi-Oh! is. I don't know maybe just like Kimmy Critters off the top of my head, and the answer would probably still be no. But, you know, where there's a will, there's a way. That's an old saying, and sometimes it is true. Anyways, let's go ahead and run this. You guys know that uh, basically any deck that runs a tuner tries to go for Halifire Rex as quickly as possible. And this deck at the top will be no different because everybody's running Jet Synchron at this point. So Halifire Rex is going to be the first play. Although I'm not going to lie, this turn one board is going to be hot trash. I mean, just not really all that good. The Minerva not really doing anything. Saryuja doing pretty much even less. Well, I guess, it, you know, he paired the Solar Recharge with the Lumina. So, I, I guess. But uh, not really doing all that much. Going to take the Saryuja and link it down into Cross Sheep, which I also don't know if that was worth it. Goes for Instant Fusion. I'm guessing just for the rank four plays, which uh, well, he gets a monster born out. Out of it gonna go for a best dweller and this is a cute play but not always effective a lot of times you don't know what the heck you're playing against and if you go for Abyss Dweller, even, I guess, to a lesser extent, Naturia Beast, they might not be that effective. So you do have Graveyard shut off. You're going to have Spells shut off. But a lot of decks can easily play through this. I mean, seriously, you could just easily Kaiju the Naturia Beast and then just play Yu-Gi-Oh! as normal. Well, as long as you weren't using the Graveyard or didn't plan on it. Anyways, let's see what the Alien deck is going to do. He's going to set three, and uh, okay, doesn't like a very explosive turn. However, his monster cannot be destroyed by battle, and uh, <laughs> that's good enough basically to stop this player, unless he wants to use all of his resources and go for something like a Nightmare Unicorn, which, I mean, that would just be stupid because you're putting all your eggs in that basket. I feel like you're in a really bad position. He's going to go ahead and summon this alien telepath. All right, cool. He took, <laughs> he's taken one third of his opponent's monsters. <laughs> And then he says, I gotta, I gotta make sure I get this right. Is it Omairu Shindyu? <laughs> you guys know. Oh, good. For anyone saying, for anyone talking junk <laughs> that I mispronounced it or I got it wrong, I was watching Fist of the North Star probably before you were born because I'm a boomer. Well, I'm an internet boomer anyways. And he's going to activate Offering to the Snake Deity. I'm pretty sure, I think this card, is this card older than Icarus Attack? I think Icarus Attack might be at a raging battle. It's a pretty old card. He will use that almost certainly to pop the Lumina, to pop the Naturia Beast. Obviously, the Abyss Dweller with no materials and zero attack is no longer a threat. Oh, by the way, the reason I'm quoting that specifically is because if you look at this card art of Cell Explosion, it looks, he, he looks like he's actually doing that, right? It looks like he's doing uh, that from, from the movie. But uh, yeah, that is basically a wrap. Somehow, Reptiles basically tripped into a win. So uh, good for them. And then we have our second duel which is going to be Blue Eyes versus uh, a Harpy deck. But um, honestly, for all intents and purposes, the Harpy deck doesn't matter much because the Harpy deck is not going to be able to play much Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, as we saw in the last duel, if you play Tuner Monsters, that means that you must go for Halifair Backs as your first play. It's mandatory. You cannot play Yu-Gi-Oh! unless you go for Halifair Backs. <laughs> This is the game Konami has given us. I don't know why they thought that card was a good idea, but uh, here's where we are. Anyways, he's going to make a really ridiculous board, which I, it opened my eyes, and I was like, damn, dude, maybe... Maybe Blue Eyes is like the new wave. Maybe we need to stop hating on Blue Eyes and start looking at it as... A legitimate deck because it makes some pretty strong boards. Uh, not just that, but being able to summon Chaos Dragon Levin here, get a monster reborn, summoning True King of All Calamities. There were actually a lot of calls. This was not a card that I had really thought about. There was a lot of calls for this card to be banned on our most recent FNL list. Obviously, we didn't have any cards banned, but um, yeah, True King of All Calamities. A lot of people, I guess, are fed up with this card. If you're going to maybe use some spell cards, he's going to say no to that too with the uh, number 38 Titanic Galaxy and then also having Herald of the Arc Light. Now, the interesting thing is I actually feel like the Harpy player 
didn't have to die here i'm not sure i mean it would have been difficult to navigate this i don't understand why you would activate the monster reborn if you know your opponent has titanic like you could have just kaiju this bro like you could have kaiju this and then you know try to do something else but with no battle phase i'm not really sure if the kaiju would have mattered interesting thing is he scoops so what if let's just let's just put this you know situation out here what if he was playing Evil Swarm Exciton Knight? I feel like he would have just won the duel because you 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 would see summon for uh for Exciton Knight, then your opponent's turn uh starts, and you know, my buddy Team Aku, he's got the true king of all calamities, but you could just chain Exciton Knight to its effects, and then you just blow their board up and you just win. <laughs> like I feel like the world has forgotten that Exciton Knight was banned for multiple years, and that card is ridiculous. I mean, it's a card like I think if you play rank fours, you gotta play. There's so many duels that I get where somebody has the opportunity to uh, make a rank four, and it's like uh, I don't see Exciton in the extra deck. I can understand sometimes not running Utopia Double because that requires you run an additional card, but I'm going to run that one copy of Exciton Knight just in case. Because in this situation, unless I'm missing something, guys, you make Exciton Knight during your opponent. Because he couldn't activate any monster effects now during this turn. But during your opponent's turn, they try to activate True King of All Calamities. You chain it. You nuke their entire board. And you're good. Miss opportunities for days. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed those duels. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. As always, subscribe if you have not already. And turn on that notification bell for daily videos.